what is nervous system hypersensitivity? Great question. You know, I think even just reading out those questions, I bet the audience can kind of uh, recognize or see themselves in some of those. And nervous system hypersensitivity, you might think just comes when you have a concussion or when you've been diagnosed with post-concussion syndrome. Um, however, a lot of times, um, nervous system hypersensitivity starts way back. It could be in childhood, it could be in your teenage years, it could be in early adulthood. Um, there's a few factors that are involved. So the first is really our predisposition to having um, a more sensitive nervous system. So that might be um, exposures as a child. You know, maybe you were sickly. Maybe you got sick a lot as a, as a child and became more sensitive in that way. Um, it may just be personality. It may be, hey, you know, I find I'm very emotional to certain things. Or, or you know, growing up, you might have noticed that you're a bit more emotional or sensitive. So you might think of these things as not causing a hyperactive nervous system, but potentially predisposing you to have a hypersensitive nervous system if you were to have a setback like concussion in the future. You know, of course, there are other larger um, trauma-based uh, predispositions that can happen in childhood, that can happen uh, over the course of your life, you know, if you're in a car accident, um, if you were to be in some sort of natural disaster or are from like a war-torn country, anything where we might be setting the tone for this sensitive nervous system. So those are sort of the, the predispositions. Um, there's so much more I could say about that, but given we're in live, I think I'll just leave it at that. If anyone has questions, please let us know. Yeah. Um, Secondly, you know, hypersensitive or overactive nervous system can um, come forward, you know, even later in life when uh, or if we're exposed to repeated states of stress, if we repeatedly are ill, if we have, um, you know, in PCS, we learn a lot, you know, sometimes this isn't someone's first concussion. They might say, hey, you know, I've actually recovered fine from my first concussion and had no uh, you know, ramifications from that. And then their second or their third, well, suddenly they're having such a hard time recovering. There's obviously other factors involved in that. But one thing you might think about is, hey, now your predisposition to having a sensitive nervous system is heightened. So I think that's the important thing to sort of lay the foundation is recognizing the factors that might lead you to be having an oversensitive or hyperactive nervous system currently, um, and that it could be any sequence of events that have happened in your life. But I think a lot of PCS sufferers um, can relate to the fact that they probably had more than one stressors, or maybe before their PCS, they led a very high stress life, whether that's work, interpersonally, socially, whatever it was, um, there might be other factors involved that can set the stage for you to have a more hyperactive nervous system. Mm -hmm.